Well, I've been involved in politics really since I was in middle school. Uh, but to me, politics is a variety of different things. So running for elected office came after I had been involved in the community for decades. And really, it was when I realized that I could go to the state legislature and address the same issues that I was addressing in the community. But the person that pushed me to run was Congresswoman Diane Watson. When she called me up and told me that there were no African African American women in the state legislature. That's why I ran. The Congressional Black Caucus is known as the conscious of the Congress. And we have 55 members now out of 235 Democrats. All 55 are Democrats. So we represent the issues that are critically important to the African American community. But by addressing the issues that are important to the African American community, that really lifts up a whole sector of our entire country. And so you see the Black Caucus taking the lead on issues like criminal justice reform like education, student loans, health care, and making sure that everybody has access, health disparities to specifically address the needs of African American other, and other people of color and low income folks. We just worked together and passed the First Step Act, which was really important because that addressed changing some areas of the sentencing laws as well as changing and improving the conditions while people are in prison. Now much, much, much more needs to be done. It's embarrassing that there are more people in prison and jail in the United States than any other country on the planet. And so one of the key issues that I'm focusing on are women in the criminal justice system because they are often forgotten children in the criminal justice system who I believe shouldn't even be there and then two um, people when they come out of prison returning citizens who are essentially locked out of society. One of the number one issues of the Congressional Black Caucus is, is reauthorizing the Voting Rights Act. And so we have been all over voter suppression, voter ID laws, but actually preparing the record so that we can introduce a comprehensive piece of legislation around voting rights. Now that was introduced um, a couple of weeks ago, but there's much, much more that needs to be done. Black unemployment, I mean, one, we all know that the way you count the unemployment statistics misses thousands, if not millions of people. So when I hear that black unemployment is down, that's great, but we still are twice the numbers of white unemployment. And then you also have to look at wages. So if black unemployment is, is down because people are working two or three jobs, that doesn't solve the issue. We need to look at a livable wage. Is there anything going yes, on? Yes, like absolutely. Well, first first of all, we finally have younger CBC members. That will help. <laughs> but also, I believe that we haven't paid attention to that. But I also believe that we need to pay a lot more attention to black people in general. And that is one of the number one issues that we plan to tackle in the CBC over the next couple of years. By December 2020, I want to make sure that black America as a whole knows what the CBC does and knows how the CBC contributes to our communities. Black women lead, we know that we are the most solid demographic that votes the right way in my opinion. <laughs>